Well, the majority of the American workforce, including many federal employees, will soon be required to have the COVID-19 vaccine, leaving unvaccinated workers with fewer options for employment. That mandate covering up to 100 million workers, but it doesn't apply to some, including fast food workers and even members of Congress. It comes as Michigan is dealing with a worker shortage in several industries, including hospitals, restaurants and school districts. 7 Action News reporter Brett Cass is going in depth tonight to show us how the new executive order may impact the ongoing shortage. This new executive order from President Biden will require all employers with 100 or more employees to either mandate the COVID-19 vaccine or do weekly testing, leaving many job seekers who are unvaccinated with fewer options. I've met a lot of resistance. I've had two people get quite angry with me, to be honest with you. Gail Smith is a staffing manager at Snelling Staffing in Roseville. Some of her employers are now requiring the vaccine and applicants are not happy. It's been 100 percent of the candidates I've spoken with. Nobody has said, sure, no problem. They've all had hesitations. Many of those interviews were for positions in hospital settings where vaccines were already required. But now, since the majority of the agency's clients have more than 100 employees, Smith expects to face that pushback more often. Just going to see how this plays out over the next couple of weeks, and I don't think anybody knows at this point. But I can see the direction it's going in, and people are not comfortable. Even though large chains like McDonald's may have more than 100 employees, most are run by individual franchisees. It's now up to them on whether they will mandate the vaccine. This is a, another huge burden placed on small business. Misty Challey with the Coalition of Franchisee Associations says it's still unclear how many franchisees the order impacts as they wait for more answers on how it will be enforced. I think I've been on about eight or nine calls since Friday to talk about how this will be implemented, and the answer is nobody knows. And these are calls with government officials. New websites like NovaxMandate.org provide an online job board just for employers who don't require the vaccine. Already there's a handful of openings listed in Metro Detroit. I will sign an executive order that will now require all executive branch federal employees to be vaccinated. All. The mandate also extends to federal employees, but only those under the executive branch, meaning members of Congress and their staff aren't included. I'm not for mandates at any level, whether it's the government level, business level, personal level. Congresswoman Lisa McLean is a Republican from Romeo, pushing back on the mandate for employers and federal workers. In August, 20 members of Congress wrote a letter to the attending Capitol physician urging him to mandate the vaccine for Congress. While the exact number is unclear, the majority of Congress confirmed to CNN they were already vaccinated. Have you been vaccinated or do you know how many people in Congress are vaccinated? I did get vaccinated. But again, that was my individual choice that I made with a healthcare professional. We're going to have to look at changing our, our procedures. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, Snelling will likely add vaccine status to their screening questions as more companies decide whether to mandate the vaccine and potential employers decide whether they want the job. They're getting really uncomfortable and they don't want to miss out on the job, but they're torn. They're very torn. Now, enforcement of this mandate will be left up to OSHA, who is currently drafting a rule set to come out in the coming weeks. Reporting for 7 Action News, I'm Brett Cast. Brett, thank you.